Hello everyone, Davening with Parshat HaAzinu, dedicated to the memory of Lucy Maya and Rina D. In Parshat HaAzinu, we have one of the few times that it says the words, Be'etzem Hayom Azeh. says Rashi, every time it says it, it was when the Jewish people thought that they could change something, and it turned out they couldn't. So God did something in the midst of that day, right at high noon, so people would see that you can't change what God said. The first time is regarding the Mabul. People thought they can change the verdict of the flood. It turned out God brought the flood at high noon, and they couldn't change it. One of the Makot says, And the same thing happened. God brought that plague on the Jewish, on the Egyptians, and it couldn't be changed. And indeed, in this week's Parsha, God says to Moshe, You are going to go up to the mountain, and you're going to die there. And despite the Jewish people thinking they can change that, you can't be changed. However, Rashi doesn't mention the fourth time that it says Be'etzem Hayom Azeh, and that is regarding Yom Kippur. How come Rashi doesn't mention it? I think the answer is that the omission gives us a big chance. And the chance is that Yom Kippur happens to be a day where we can change things, where it's possible to change your fate. And therefore, Rashi didn't bring it. Yom Kippur is a day where you're not the same the day after as you were the day before. It's a day that stands alone. Indeed, it's a famous Gemara that said Satan, the Satan, is a gematria of 364 because there's one day a year where the Satan just can't function and that's Yom Kippur. In my opinion, this gives us a huge chance in our davening to really transform ourselves on Yom Kippur to become a different person. Indeed, when you try to become a different person, usually people berate you. You stop talking in shul, they'll say, hey, where did you become from? However, if they do it on Yom Kippur, if you're a different person the day later, I'm pretty sure people would understand because they too were in shul on Yom Kippur. Wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom and a Gemara Chatimah Tovah.